Hello Earth Signs, welcome back to the channel. It's me Antonio. Back with another video today. Gotta roll down the sleeves. We having the bugs come out here at the park today. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, add value to the channel. So that we can continue to grow, put more readings out, put out more clarity for the collective, Earth Signs. Let's see what the universe wants to channel into the into the tarot today. We have the light seers and we have the rider weight tarot. Gonna try and get you guys this reading out of the way, Earth signs. Energy's getting blocked. I can't be coming out here around this time. Mm -mm. Mosquitoes. <laughs> and the lighting is pretty bad, I'm sure. But let's get to it. What is going on? What is going on? Ooh, I can't go cups. Yeah, your energy is pretty interesting today, Earth signs. We got the bull in the china shop, right? Yep. <laughs> Something may be uh, blocking the Taurus. All right. All right, grounding your reading today, we have options for you. A lot of options and a lot of work as well. Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles. This could be you uh, attempting to manifest some type of uh, spiritual business, some uh, career, maybe a notary, mm, maybe some type of herbal business as well. Could be, um, what do you call it? Aesthetics for women. Could be a teacher as well here, I'm getting. Some type of naturalist. We have the green candle and then there's no shoes on her feet. It looks like, it literally, literally looks like she's holding class um, in some form of a garden. Maybe some type of outside, uh, your, a desk outside. <laughs> a teacher bringing a desk outside. That would be crazy, right? All right, we got the Empress. Yeah, so using your creative talent, your divine uh, feminine nature to bring more creativity into your life at this time. Could be attracting people towards you as well. Sexual attraction could be some form of uh, some form of a solid investment here with some type of um, a teacher or some form of a female business owner. Um, could even be some type of messenger. Very empathic and intuitive individual here. What else we get? The Page of Swords. Hmm. This could be some form of a spying or a network challenge or um, introspection. It could be even a um, getting a crowd pleaser here. Hmm. Interesting energies. All right, changing it up a little bit for the earth signs. All right, all right. What else we got? Queen of Swords, yeah, there we go. A change of clothing. <laughs> Venus energy, very uh, charismatic energy, very stoic as well. The imagery is similar here. <laughs> Striking resemblance here. I'm a Libra myself, so Queen of Swords would be Emperor. Or I'm sorry, it would be Libra. Or you could be dealing with an Emperor. We have the Empress here already. So if the Emperor pops out, that would be very interesting, channeling Emperor energy. Um, Page of Swords to the Queen of Swords. Hmm. This could be a talent in uh, research and design or research and development, some form of an architect or some form of a, a blueprint. Mm, blueprint artist. Could be a magician as well. Hmm. Seven of Wands. Hmm. Very guarded individual. Could be dealing with some form of... Um, what is this, posturing up? So yeah, you could be dealing with some type of self-development. Uh, self you could be dealing with a therapist that's teaching you self-development here or teaching you how to temper yourself. Acquiring a second opinion, are we? Queen of Cups. Yeah, this would be my um, empathic or an intuitive indiv individual giving you a second opinion here. Queen of Cups with the Queen of Swords. Or there could be an equal amount of intelligence or an equal amount of uh, affection and emotions here. Could be someone that you're coming across or energy that you are um, sharing with someone at this time, I'm getting. Boundaries are, there should be boundaries here, but there's no boundaries here. Looks like either there's someone spying or you're doing research on someone. 
Or you could be learning something from someone. These individuals could be learning from each other. That's what this could be. With the Libra here building balance. There has to be some type of business or relationship or contract that's being developed here at this time. But the boundaries being crossed. Contracts cross, cross over people's boundaries whether they believe it or not. But anything, yeah, we have justice. But anything could be a contract. Words can be a contract. A look can be a contract. Any type of interaction could be a contract. But we have balance here. Karmic effort or karmic universal energy is coming at this time to, to bring balance. So it could be some form of a relationship here with the Queen of Swords and the Queen, and the Queen of Cups. And justice. Dealing with an air sign. Attempting to approach an air sign or researching an air sign. Or an air sign is inquiring about you. Notice the word inquire. We have the wheel which would be wheel of fortune which would be luck here hmm. which would be hmm. the universe stepping in to grant you some type of positive information some type of positive influx or positive influence or this person could be some type of positive influence in your life bringing his wheel of fortune could also be a gambler as well could be dealing with um things that you're trying to let go the wheel of fortune could be seen as some form of um, could be some form of a game. Fortune, we think about finances, so it could be in a negative aspect gambling. You're trying to broaden your broaden your horizons here. Seven of Swords, sneaky behavior here, or unsaid words, or maybe someone that knows how knows their way around the situation without saying much here, or doing much. Um, am I pulling negative energies from this card? I mean, the perception that it would always be negative energy here. That's the reason why we would read upside down cards as well as right side up cards. Hmm. Seven, seven, seven of wands, and seven of swords. Could be, <laughs> could be night activity. Could be some form of a night nighttime activity being hidden here. We have the Queen of Pentacles, profits being made, structures being um, hmm, tested here at this time. This could be seen as a virginic, uh, yeah, a virgin here, the Queen of Pentacles, or someone that likes to keep herself uh, well maintained here, some type of a control freak or monarch here. Um, maybe a mother. Mm, what am I getting here? She's trying to keep her sanctity here, holding the pen the queen of or the pentacles close to her pelvic area or close to her womb. If it's an adult, it could be dealing in a uh, pregnancy or it could be dealing in some form of a marriage here. We have three queens out here and the empress. So definitely some form of a divine feminine. It could be business or marriage involved here. What else do we got? We also got another seven foundations here. This could be um, kind of looking over or checking something out, checking out the details of something. Maybe you have um, planted something or maybe you have been developing something here. I mean, you have the reading grounding, which would be eight of pentacles, which would be, which would be hard, you at hard work in regards to these investments that you've made or these opportunities that you created for yourself here. Uh, again, boundaries being tested here with the 777s. Seven, seven, seven. There could be some form of... Um, I mean, this would be evolution here. Boundaries being broken or lines being crossed or some form of a self-development or being intuitive. Being, being able, again, like I said, being able to know your way around a certain situation here. The sevens are about perfect timing. Sevens are about innate abilities or talent or skills that we've been able to learn or cultivate. So you have three queens here with three sevens. Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups, and Queen of Pentacles here with the Seven of Swords, Seven of Wands, and Seven of Pentacles. There is a Wheel of Fortune moment happening, happening here. Also the Empress is here. Hmm. Also the Empress is here with Judgment. Two major arcana. It's a lot of uh, sexual attraction and a lot of se sexual chemistry here. It could be a sexual contract. Hmm. 
we have a sly queen of swords here this queen of swords is trying to play something off here they're wanting a wheel of fortune or some type of justice or some type of equal give and take i can't say for sure if this is some form of a revenge um but there's something being hidden here i'm guessing that they feel like if they outwork you or i guess work is the best revenge that someone's trying to outshine someone here let me pull some uh let me pull some right away tarot cards here. Hmm. With the Wheel of Fortune. 10 11. So we take we take all the ones from this picture, and I'm not sure why I'm getting this. 11. 10 we take out the zero and we get the empress so there's definitely been some type of contact being made some form of a relationship being formulated if it already has not been formulated there could be marriage involved here as well we get a lot of the similar imagery of pregnancy here on every last one of these pictures we have her sitting in the water could be a doula or how these type of procedures are performed i'm not sure i'm not a male doula i'm a psychic uh the cup uh or the bell or whatever this is i think this is a bowl of herbs so it could be an empty womb but you see it floating right in front of her stomach <laughs> we also have the queen of pentacles trying to maintain their sancti sanctity could be um some form of a connection before marriage as well the giant pentacle is right above her womb <laughs> trying to maintain uh boundaries here or trying to main or keeping up appearances is what I'm getting here. Seven of uh, seven of wands. The Empress being promised Empress status. Hmm. Green being promised the Wheel of Fortune. There was some type of boundaries that were crossed, or crossed, or some type of contract that was uh, put into place here. It's a very interesting reading. I don't think I've had much readings like this before. Yeah, putting up a lot of work to maintain appearances here or a lot of uh, side projects being cultivated on this individual's behalf All right, I think I've already shuffled this deck enough Let's finish up your uh, messages for today earth signs Taurus Capricorn and Virgo Like share comment subscribe add value to the channel so that we can continue to grow Nine of Wands here, Wounded Warrior or Fuckboy Energy here, someone being very aggressive. Also, someone being very guarded at this time, being fearful, showing some form of a immobile immobility here. That Nine of Wands should be moving. There's no movement cards here at all. There's a lot of spying. There's a lot of keeping up with appearances. There's a lot of dancing or hiding around a situation here. These are a lot of high-powered individuals, people that should have a lot of high integrity about themselves as well that's dibbling and dabbling into these uh, toxic efforts here. We not only get the Nine of Wands, we also get the Five of Wands. This is bullshit. We have the Magician here, a Master Manifestor. Again, someone trying to keep up appearances. <laughs> Dealing in, uh, what do we get, Aries and Gemini energy? No, this would be, a yeah, Aries and Gemini energy. Huh. Sun, moon, arising. Major Arcanas. We're getting Nine of Pentacles. Slow moving energy here. Could be a slow drip in some form of a finances. Or a slow offer here. Someone is being told no, but they're in constant pursuit here. They're trying to manifest um, some form of a relationship here if it, has, have it, if it has not already been manifested. The Hierophant here, higher knowledge here. Hmm. The Hierophant and the Magician showing up after the Wheel, Empress, and Justice. There's a correction that's going to be made here. There's going to be some form of uh, <laughs> these words, man. We have an exorcism on the way no doubt the higher font would be the Sagittarius of Taurus that's disciplined energy here someone was not very disciplined in fact they sacrificed actually in order to obtain power you actually do have to sacrifice so this could have been some type of sacrifice here I'm not sure if someone's sacrificing children or sacrificing themselves or just putting 
um, whatever entity, it could be a life on the line or some form of a celebrity on the line in order to obtain some form of abundance here. This wheel of fortune moment here. It could be a feminine practice. Uh, well, I mean, it takes two to tango. But we have a lot of feminine energy here. Well, that is your reading Earth Signs. Hopefully you enjoyed this short storytelling, got whatever information you need to take out of the readings. There are more on the channel. The channel will continue to grow, so enjoy what we have here. Peace.